Hey, what is going to guys, POG here, and welcome to my Minecraft Platinum series. This is episode number 36, and let's get on with the shoutout for today. So the shoutout for this episode goes to RainyCornSC, who when I left a comment saying, Hi Pog, I love your channel. It's really fun to watch. I love your tutorials as well. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you so much, RainyCore, for writing this awesome comment. I'm glad that my tutorials are nice to watch and they're helpful because that's the most of the intention of making these videos, except something happened in before today's episode, which we'll get into that uh, in in a bit. Um, but yeah, so uh, thanks so much for writing in and welcome to this beautiful shadow room. Uh, how are you doing, Zeus? You're doing good? Of course you are. Um, but yeah. Make sure you guys write comments down for my other dogs because I think I have another name tag. I'm not too like 100% sure, but write names what I should name some of my other dogs and then at the same time which color, like the color color I should have. So like just let me know in the comment section below. Um, that being said, I'm going to quickly go to sleep before some crazy things happen. But I was actually playing earlier with Travis uh, because if you guys don't know who Travis is, he's T-Rex. Um, <laughs> Just, just to clear that up, um, and he, he, he had to go to, uh, he had to go. So like, I was like, sure, you know what? Uh, in the meantime, let's see if you can get the uh, beacon uh, trophy uh, yourself. So I let him to place the beacon trophy himself, or technically the beacon himself, and the game ended up giving me the uh, fully powering the beacon trophy. Uh, when he was the one placing it, so it kind of counted, uh, and we both got the trophy, unfortunately. So, um, I did end up recording that part, so I can kind of show you guys uh, how it happened. So, let me just get to that part. Alright, so here it is, guys. As you can see, I've, I'm just digging, like, straight down next to the beacon. Um, I have T-Rex, like, following me on the other side. And I did end up trying a uh, different way. So I, I guess I could like fast this up, speed this up a little bit more. Uh, I think that should be good. But yeah, so um, I was uh, putting like some iron blocks because I thought like, do I really have to fill the inside of the of the pyramid uh, for this to work? So I ended up just making this, as you can see. Uh, let me just speed it up there. Um, and as you can see, just making the pyramid, I was like, hey, T-Rex, can you just place down um, the beacon and then see if you'll get the trophy which he did and he didn't get the trophy because nothing was inside of that um, in nothing was inside of the pyramid so it was just a open space and uh, he placed the beacon and uh, neither one of us got any trophy uh, unfortunately so uh, this wouldn't work and we had to fill it up and I was like you know what I'm gonna just see if my diamonds would be enough to fill it up so I decided to break this and just pretty much uh, dig down inside the pyramid, uh, which ended up uh, letting me uh, to um, kind of go ahead and, and fill the hole inside of this. So I just ended up, you know, putting all of this right here. As you can see, I'm like putting diamonds. So like literally covering up the entire inside of the pyramid. So thankfully I had enough blocks. And, and the crazy part, guys, is, is that we had enough, just like just enough blocks. Um, so um, it, it, it ended up being like very awesome. Like look at this, I have 26 pieces of gold and I'm like, uh, I think we have enough. Yes, I think we have enough. It's all looking good. So there goes six pieces there and another six goes here. But then another three would go there and look at that, four more left and this let me go all the way up and now the beacon uh, pyramid is pretty much set. And T-Rex ended up placing it and at this moment I'm like, Oh my god, no. He's like, what? I'm like, I just got the trophy, man. So yeah, here is the uh, screenshot when I got the trophy. It was a gold trophy called the Beaconator. And this was supposed to be the goal after the whole diamond week that I had to show you guys how to get it. But since um, I did end up uh, destroying the whole thing, now we can go ahead and redo this whole thing, show you guys how you can fully uh, power a beacon. So just to make sure um, that this whole thing is going to work, I'm going to start by placing um, the diamond block, uh, which is 41 of them. I guess, I guess I could go with the... Um, I guess I'll go with the iron going around here. So let's put the dirt here just so that I can do that. So the iron could go over there. Um, I'll, I'll, I know it has to be filled in with iron or, or anything. It could be diamond. It doesn't matter. 
Um, but I'm going to just quickly do this. Okay. And another thing now is I'll use my, um, I'd say my gold blocks over here. I don't know if this would be enough. I have thoughts that it might not be enough, but oh well. But yeah, I'll have the gold going around like this. Which also makes it look good. But yeah, I don't think I have enough. I should have used the gold in the second layer. Or do I have enough? I think I might have just enough. Yeah, that, that looks like I have just enough. <laughs> that's, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's break that. And what I'm going to do now is use the... Uh, the diamond block that would go just on the bottom part here all around it. So this would look pretty awesome as you guys can see. It's getting all these blocks in here. This is so many diamonds guys. It's so much hard work right there. Just putting all these diamonds in here. But yeah, so there's that. And then um, I guess I have to get inside. All right. So like so. And what I have to do now is mine this furnace. And start placing all of this iron entirely inside of it, like this. So I've got all these other pieces here. Just like so. And yeah, the crazy part is how I had just enough to uh, make this. Like, you'll see what I mean. I don't even have one extra block. Like, this is literally all I have and all I need um, to, uh, to finish this job. So I'm gonna put the torch there. Just to have some sort of lighting going on. Okay. Uh, we can block the ceiling nicely. There we go. All right. Nice. And then this looks to be uh, working pretty nicely. So there we go. As you guys can see now, uh, we have just these diamonds left. And what I'm going to do is simply just start placing the gold inside here. And then finish it off. Oh, wait. I need, I think I need one gold. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab one of the golds and then just finish the entire remaining of this with the with the diamond, as you guys can see, and then put that gold in there. Which just th look at this thing, guys! It looks amazing. But yeah, so there's the base of this. I'm gonna go ahead and put a torch around here because I think, yeah, this is the one. So just so I know where I have to start by replacing things. So I'll put the torch there. All right, and the next thing is I am going to see if I can uh, What I can power this with so I'm assuming I should get speed to two. I'm not interested in taking any of that out uh, I do think I have enough diamonds for myself, uh, which is pretty good um, And in the meanwhile since we're here, why not to actually go ahead and uh, Like I guess decorate this place or design this place. I should say so I was thinking I could have like cobblestone everywhere like maybe smooth stone flooring but like cobblestone around or smooth stone okay this is getting much harder than i thought um but yeah imagine if i find diamonds here too by the way that'll be amazing look at this nice okay so fill this up because we don't want any zombies or crazy things to spawn around here and uh i don't know about you guys the reason i ended up uh building the beacon around here guys is that whenever I'm down into a mine as you guys can see I'm still having the speed effect okay that's just the best part about it all right so this looks to be pretty good and now if I were to go and grab some of this iron I think I should be able to turn this into a like a let's say speed 2 so I'll click on that say yes and now I have soon, I should have speed two. As far as I know, that's kind of how it works. There we go. So speed two, which is one of my favorite, or if you want, you can have like regeneration and the speed at the same time, which is another awesome one you can have. Um, but that being said, I'm going to start placing, um, I guess sooner or later, um, some flooring. I should, I should say that the walls could be cobblestone, maybe. Yeah, I guess. So the walls could be cobblestone, meaning something like this could go around it. And then, well, I guess this place, yeah, that could be. 
and and then it would be more like this okay because what happens is is that this side is going to be like spoof stone and then cobblestone again from here and just kind of do that yeah so it's it starts to look pretty good all right so what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna go quickly uh get all the stuff and sp i'm gonna speed this entirely up until this whole room is complete All right guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and fully completed this room, except that part, because that's kind of the way I'm gonna get out and enter. But once we have a way to get down here to view this beautiful place of like a viewing of the beacon, which you know what, I'm thinking that I'm only gonna take out the, um, the diamond that's inside here and stuff like that. That's the only thing I'm gonna take out, but I'm gonna leave this gold and maybe uh, th this top part could be like let's say emerald blocks or something like that and then or this part here So we can have like a nice little uh, looking cool looking thing here, which could look awesome uh, But you know that being said guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode If you did please leave a like and also check out my sisters and Terex's channel both links are in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys